Good day ADC community and welcome to my channel. Okay, so this is a Gerber MP600, a beautiful tool by Gerber. One of the better tools by Gerber, I would say, but uh, it's also one of the older tools. Excuse me. And um, it's a beautiful um, out the front opening, uh, deploying uh, pliers uh, with 14 accessories as well. But um, it's showing its age already. And what I'll be doing is to uh, is I'll be doing a takedown uh, of this tool. I will be polishing it up. Um, it, there's already rust showing on the body, on the plier heads. Of course, if there's already some stain marks happening on the 14 tools on the inside, I will be doing a takedown, disassembly, and polishing of them. And uh, the sliding mechanism doesn't. Uh, do a one do a one hand flick anymore but it's still good of course but uh, hopefully by the end of this video I could restore this tool back to its um, new condition and yeah for those of you who love this Gerber MP600 I hope this video helps and okay so here we go okay so let's set this aside uh, what I will be using will be a nylon and a brass bristle brush. Um, I want to uh, get all the dirt and rust particles out, bring the, the sheen back to, to this tool. Um, I'll also be using um, mineral oil. Uh, they call this uh, the white mineral oil. Okay, um, light duty. Okay and some precision tools and uh, okay so i'll just put in a, a wave in the process so here goes okay what i'll first be doing is to um uh, separate the plier heads from the main body the the plier heads are attached to the main body via these uh, thin clips and i'll just be using the can opener or any flathead screwdriver uh, if you're doing this yourself, you could use um, a, a, a flathead screwdriver or anything that's flat and thin. Uh, so in this case, you just have to follow this. Uh, put it uh, just under the clip, like so. And simply remove it. And pull the clip out. Okay, just a bit. There, so this is the clip. Let's put this aside. Do the same on the other side. Probably notice that I'm very gingerly approaching this. It's pretty easy, but you know. I'm just like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So two clips already are out and just that easy. You now have the plier head separated. Just be wary that there is a couple of spring uh, mechanisms here. Don't lose them. Okay, so before you take down or remove the plier heads, be conscious of these pins, all right? Okay, these two pins. These go here on the middle. Like so. If they were uh, inside already attached uh, on the, the, the tool, uh, these springs are he located here in the middle of each side. Okay, so let's just put them aside. Don't lose them. So here is the plier head. Uh, I'll be removing the stains here uh, with uh, a brass brush. That's it. So we already have it removed and we'll now proceed with the cleaning. I'll need a relatively clean or white surface here. Put some oil, like I said, the mineral oil. Okay, just oil this up. Okay, 
Like I said, I was gonna, I'm gonna use the uh, the brass brush, the brass bristle brush, and just do light strokes. Next after the plier head disassembly is the disassembly of the first arm. Notice that I used a uh, flat head bit to wedge in and neutralize the uh, sliding lock for an easier takedown of the pin. Note that the side with the file, the lanyard holder, the Phillips head, and the can opener has three washers. Okay, things to point out before proceeding with the brushing. You're going to want to put oil all over uh, so that uh, you don't leave scratch marks while brushing. Um, you're also going to want to put in enough oil for the dust and the rust to float away so that when you do wipe it down um, all the dirt and the brushed out particles will come with the, 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 the cloth. Alright so after oiling and brushing you're gonna want to uh, wipe everything down uh, since oil tends to attract more dust after so take note of that. It may be a bit of a challenge when cleaning the tools if you have big hands because the tools are small. Uh, it's up to you what, um, how you want to do it but it just takes some patience especially with the uh, file because of the grooves uh, present. Uh, it's, you're going to have to probably do uh, two rounds of brushing on each side to get the, the dirt, the rust out. And by the time that you're ready to put the uh, tools back in the uh, in arm one, uh, the three washers go in between the four tools. Uh, take note of the nipples on the washers. They go into the slot on the arm, as you will see later. Here's a close-up view of what you're going to want to see with regards to the nipples and the slot on the arm. Now for the other arm, it's the same process except that you just have to consider 
five tools and four washers all right on this side and fast forward now to reassembly do take note of the placement of the washers between the tools and how they should go into the body Okay, so here we have it, a newly serviced and cleaned Gerber MP600. Uh, we cleaned out the insides and the outside, um, took out all the grime and uh, oxidation from the inner tools, okay, and uh, also uh, cleaned the plier heads as well, looking shiny and new. There's a visible sheen now to it. Uh, maybe in the next clip uh, I'll show the deployment if I could uh, you know uh, get it back to being a one flick opening again just be wary of the nipple washers as you put them back together uh, uh, put the nipples along the uh, slot over there and that way uh, the tools as you deploy them each individually uh, they'll just come out um, as you take them out and they won't bunch up together all right so with that said i hope this helped and looking forward to making more videos for you so till again peace out stay safe